Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I will be talking to you about what I like to call my water broke before I gave birth. Before I go into that, I want to say a massive thank you to all of you for your kind words and feedbacks about my video I share on the one I got my masters. I took you through the struggles I went through as a woman, mother, nurturing my young children and how I came out of that. Reading your comments actually made me realize that there is no challenge or problem that is unique to me as a woman and as a mother. What I'm going through, so many people are going through the same thing. So sincerely, I appreciate all the feedbacks. Thank you. And also, you all inspired me to do something really new. As time goes on, I will be talking to you more on that. So, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you are here for the very first time, you're very welcome. On my channel, I love to create content that can inspire you, motivate you to do so much more. So click on the subscribe button down below and don't forget to click the uh, bell button so you can receive a notification of all the great videos that I share. So let's just get into today's video, right? <laughs> you see, in life, when we go through things or when we go through challenges, these challenges are not peculiar to us. They are not unique to us. So many people have gone through those challenges before or we are going through those challenges now to inspire other people. So what do I mean by before I gave back my water broke? I'm a parent to two children. My children are ages 13 and 11. And before I gave back to both of them, a change happened in my body. At first, I got pregnant with them. So when I was going to give back to those children, my water broke. And I want to relate this same analogy to real life instances. You see, when we go through challenges, when we go through pain, when we are distressed, when we are in a place that is very uncomfortable to us, something is going to happen to us. We are about to give back to something. I'll tell you what I mean further. When we are in a place whereby we feel very uncomfortable, for example, or we have lost our job, what is happening is that we are pregnant. We are pregnant. We are about to bring forth. Before you give birth to a child, you have to push. You have to push. You hear the nurses and the doctors saying, now push. And in the process of pushing, something also would happen. You are going to stretch. Before any baby's egg can come forth from the woman genitalia, which is the vagina, the vagina has to stretch up to 10 centimeters because the size of the head of the child is 10 centimeters. It means that part of the body would have to stretch. It will have to stretch for the baby to comfort. Naturally, the vagina is this tiny, all right? But for the baby to comfort, it has to stretch. In fact, if it doesn't stretch, the doctors or the nurses they will use their apparatus to stretch that part of the body so the baby can comfort. You see, when you are going through challenges, when you are going through pain, it simply means you are about to give birth. So for you to give birth, you have to push. You have to push really, really hard. You have to stretch yourself. If you've also ever been to the labor world, you know having a baby comes with discomfort. You will be in pain. There will be some process in your body. You feel the pains that come through contraction. And I apologize if it's sounding gross to anyone who is not a parent or a mom especially. For you to go to the next level in life, be it when you are in pain or when you've suffered setback, you have to push and stretch before you can bring forth. Every time your water breaks, Maybe you've been made redundant, or maybe you've lost money, or maybe you are broke, or maybe you are unemployed. When your water breaks, you are going to transition 
into purpose. You are going to transition into a new phase. You are going to transition to something really bigger than you. A lot of times when we go through challenges or life instances, we don't understand the reason why God takes us through those process. God wants us to transition to the next level in our life. I like to use myself as an example, all right? You see, the day I lost my job, my water broke. And I would tell you I didn't understand what happened to me then until many years later. When I started doing things ordinarily I would not have done. You see, the place I was on that job was a place of comfort. I felt really comfortable in that space. I felt like there's nothing much to me than that. But in that process where my water broke, I was about to give birth. Guess what happened to me? I became very uncomfortable. I transitioned into growth. The things I never would have thought I could do, I now do them. Then God was using that time to birth something new in me. For example, gifts and talents that I knew I had became things that rescued me, made me experience growth, made me see life differently, only because my water broke. What I'm trying to say now is, anytime you go through any challenges or, or setbacks, God wants to birth something in you. It may be a new idea. It may be a new concept that is not existing yet. It may be something fresh, something new. So for you to be able to do that, you have to now calm down. This is not the time to become grumpy or moody, to wallow in self-pity. This is not the time to, to, to begin to look at life like, oh yes, you are finished. This is the time to embrace the new face you are in. All the while I was going through those process, you guys just thought I came here making these videos encouraging you, inspiring you. Never was there a time that I murmured or whined or complained about what I was going through. Even though I knew I wasn't going to receive another paycheck, my vision was how can I grow from here? What can I do from here? Where can I go from here? You see what I'm saying? Every time we experience setbacks or disappointments, we are about to experience breakthrough. In that instance, our water has broken. Your water has broken and you're about to give back to something bigger than you, bigger than what you have lost. The job you have lost is just minor. God is taking you through a process that will help you get something bigger, something better, one that will take you to the next level in your life. How would you see it? I want you to really think about it. Think about it very deeply. Are you going through anything right now? I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, you are being prepared for growth. You are being prepared for confidence. You are being prepared for transitioning into the next level of glory. What you have now is just a minor. It's going to comfort, bigger, better, more than anyone can ever imagine or think you are going to go to the next level. Uh, when we look beyond our problem, we begin to see solutions. We begin to see breakthrough. We begin to experience breakthrough. We begin to see that God actually has a plan for us. He wants us to grow. He wants us to see life differently. He wants us to experience his joy. He wants us to experience much more. I want to encourage you today. This is a new month. A new month to really take stock and reflect. Are you going through any pain or challenges right now? I'm telling you, you want to give back. Giving back comes with being uncomfortable because you would have to go through that process of birth. You will be uncomfortable. You will go through that contractions. You would have to push. You would have to stretch yourself. What God has in stock for you is what the whole world will see. And they will begin to wonder, oh God, who did this? This is what God's plan for us is as his children. We have to begin to see things differently and begin to bring forth. From our pains, we can find purpose. From our problem, we can find solution. 
if we look beyond that problem, the place we are now that, oh yes, my bank account is so low, but God tells us that you will not borrow, you will lend to nations. What will you do about that promise? Will you believe it or will you ditch it? I would encourage you to believe it. I want to encourage you, my friends. Every time your water breaks, you're about to give back. Embrace that season, embrace that journey and begin to bring forth. Don't look at where you are now. Don't look at, oh God, how do I pay these bills? Oh God, continue to do what you have to do. Continue to grind. Do continue to pay the price. The, world, the reward is coming and the whole world is going to see it. Something spectacular, something that will change your world, your environment, the life of your family, the people around you will begin to see. Your community, your church, your nation. You have to give back. Give back. In your time of pain, you can find purpose. When you are down, you have to see the greater height you are going to. Embrace your life's journey and you'll be surprised at what you can do. I pray for you that whatever challenge that you're going through right now, God is bringing you out and he's taking you to the next level. He's transitioning you to the next level. He's moving you to the next level and you will give back to something spectacular. Is it a business you've always wanted? Is it a book you've always wanted to write? Is it a new job you're believing God for? Are you broke right now? Surplus will come to you. I pray for you. All right? Have a great month of February, guys. Yay, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much as always for watching this video. As always, I hope you are inspired by it. If you are inspired by it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please feel free to share with your friends and family. It's all free. You can catch up with me on all my social media platforms. I'm on Facebook at Mojin Touch. I'm on Instagram at Mojin Touch. I'm also on Twitter at Mojin Touch. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. I love you for watching. I'll speak to you soon on my next video. God bless. Bye.